Well, afternoon. Um, as Rob says, ICCM, Independent Care Community, sorry, Independent Community Care Management, we're a complex care block care provider, basically. We manage about 10, 12,000 hours a month with about 500 staff in the field, and we look after those with about 60 staff in the head office. Currently, at this moment in time, um, I was tasked last October to look at a project to take them away from being completely paper-based to a digital solution. From our point of view, the project consists, consists of recruitment HR, the scheduling aspect, time and attendance, the electronic care record, and getting some decent business information so we can trend through the systems. How to do it? Well, we could sit down and, like these guys, spend a load of money on software developers, write our own solution. By the time we've done that, it'll be out of date, and we will, we will have spent a small fortune and wasted a load of time. Or we can buy an off-the-shelf solution. Yeah, but then we have to twist and turn our own business practices to fit that that's in that little box at this moment in time. So the best way is to integrate the specialist products. Find somebody who's really good at digital forms, find somebody who's really good at scheduling, tie the two together with an API, find a great recruitment platform, tie that in with an API. Why? We get better end-to-end -end satisfaction for our end users, the staff, the clients, the commissioners. Right now, a staff member applies through an internet portal, any of the job sites, automatically is then transferred into our online HR solution. That very shortly will automatically update our scheduling solution as to what line on a package you're going to be sh doing the shift. And basically, Mabizio then allows us to clock when they show up and what they do. Collect all the data in the client home, feed that back again into a data warehousing solution Again, I like the idea that we've got access to all of the data, something you don't get with off-the-shelf products, generally speaking. They're a bit careful about what they're prepared to share. This leads to huge improvements in quality of service. So we're looking at a 25% um, decrease in the paperwork overhead for staff in the field, because essentially at this moment in time, using the digital method is much, much easier than trying to fill out a piece of paper. That's aside from the fact that when you take those four million bits of paper back to the main office and try and collate them into some sort of report for your commissioner, which you, you, know, you do at the last minute because they just suddenly show up all of a sudden. Where are we now? Um, recruitment HR, we're about 90%. Scheduling, we're about 90%. Clocking, actually that's gone up slightly. We're about 90% now. And the data capture, we've designed and built all of our forms, but we happen to know that there's a bit of workflow coming. So we're just holding off before we roll that out to the rest of the world because we don't want to repeat the process. Deploying. The, the biggest one is the first one, plan. Make sure you know what you're going to do, how you're going to do it, and who you're going to do it with. Use, an IT, use a dedicated resource of some description. This is actually a bigger deployment than you might think. In reality, nearly all of your staff have been ticking boxes on a piece of paper for the last 20 years of their life. Moving them onto a digital platform is quite a sizable cultural piece. And in order to support that, you're going to need some dedicated resources. You need somebody at the top that knows what's going on. You need the right people in the right places to provide support. I'm not just talking about training. In our instance, we ran a couple of proof of concepts. So we took three or four of the clients, we set the systems up, we got all the staff trained up, and we realised the size of the resource required and the training and all the rest of it just to get those four going. We then, off the back of that project with some interesting learnings, managed to scale that down to something small and tight that we could roll out to the rest of our staff. Now, our staff are distributed from Manchester to London. It's... Um, a very distributed workforce and it's line managed sort of semi-remotely. So in order to get people all on the same level, it has been quite a task. In fact, the, the bit around changing the culture and bringing the people up to speed has been our biggest push. The technical services, very, very simple. And I would say that again, keep it very, very simple. Rolling out Mabizio has been an absolute doddle. Same with Malinko, the scheduling side of Mabizio yeah, we've had a few ups and downs in getting the two to talk to each other just the way we like it done. But in terms of actually sticking it on a tablet, putting it out in the field, easy, dead easy. Getting the people to adopt, take ownership of that technology, 
was the largest part of the project and I would say that is probably what we are still working on now. Single points of access and communication have been the primary drivers for both of those. You've got one, one, one phone number, one email address, it all comes through to the same device. Basically, you've got any issues with any of the technical solutions or how to fill a form out or I, I, the tablet won't connect to the, the local Wi-Fi or whatever it is, you quite literally just, what's your, what's your particular preference? Do you like to phone? Mm, actually, most of our staff don't do that. They prefer to text. I feel sorry for the guy that looks after the SMS side of our business because he must get about 51 million texts a second because they're all thumb happy. But that's the sort of access that they needed. Communicating of what we're going to do and how we're going to do it has been also the biggest driver. So what do we get out of it? Increased real-time visibility. For the first time in the 20 years that ICCM has been running, they actually know how many people are doing what hours, when and where. Because up until recently, they've had to calculate that on paper, which is always out of date. Workflow-driven activity. That's what we're working on at this moment in time. Our forms allow us to drive proactively activity inside the business. Instead of having to look at a lot of forms from last month and work out what went on and how we should go forward, we can now look at that in real time and say, hang on a minute, we need a few more resources over here. Something's happening over there. We need to just look at that more carefully. Automated payroll. Currently, we pay three members of staff full-time for two weeks just to process the paper-based payroll. That will become completely automated in the next few weeks. As I said earlier, 25% saving versus a paper-based solution. That's actually in the client's home, which means that 25% of those hours that we manage every month can now be spent better on client activity rather than have I ticked this box, have I added that column up. Instantaneous reporting. My board, my clinical team <coughs> think I am an absolute star because at the push of a button now, they can see exactly what is going on across an area with one particular client across the whole business. Quality BI. Pulling that into our data warehouse is my final stage and we're about 30% down that line at this moment in time. Combining the Mizizio, Malinko data with our own current in-house data to provide a data warehouse so that we can say, trend this way, spend your money over there, resource allocation. The future. We're looking forward to a complete electronic care record which is no longer paper-based. A fully auditable service. The consistent standards for doing data collection on a digital tablet rather than 1,500 forms will drive up quality automatically. And you've got to remember that these forms are interactive. We can provide web links, so if you want to look at a pressure saw, we can link straight out to the national site on pressure saws and say, this is how you should grade it. Reduce paperwork overhead. Staff don't like paper. They really do like digital forms. Increase time for client activity, the quality BI, and the fact that we can now make targeted proactive decision making. What I want to see in the future. A bit more integration between our HR solution and Malinko. I'd like the UI to be not so monochromatic. I mean that in the nicest possible way, but to highlight stuff, because um, it's all a bit blue and white and black, and sometimes you look at it and your eyes go a bit glazed. I'd like to increase the standard reporting set. In fact, I'd actually, I'd like to see some sort of report writer, perhaps Crystal, something like that, where we can start to extract some of our own data and do our own reporting rather than ringing these poor guys all the time and saying, can you just sort this out? Can you sort that out? And I'd like to be able to highlight data trends actually in the care management portal so that when you go through your care record and you see past events and histories, you can see things that are trending in a spike one way or another. Not George, or Howard, but that was fantastic. I'll leave you to it.